What's up everybody, Josh here with Nippon Imports and today we're looking at a 1988 Honda Acti attack tram. You can see there. So this is 1988, this is uh, the previous generation. Uh, this is a four wheel drive, AC equipped, um, AC does work. And this has a four speed with the additional ultra low first and ultra low reverse. And it also has the push button locking differential. Tires are like new. Lots of tread left. Uh, as most of you guys know, and you'll see it in the photos, the all those beds, they fold down. It still has the uh, thick rubber mat back here. Um, there is no corrosion that can be found on this thing. It's really nice. Um, got your headache rack, got a couple additional lights here, that all works. Uh, these older ones came with the little running light there, that's pretty cool. And this one also has the fog lights down here. Um, the lenses are cracked, um, but that can very easily be replaced. Windows are good, no chips, no cracks. Actually, there is one chip right here. I'm sorry. I was thinking about another one. Okay. So, interior is pretty good for a 1988. I've had 1994s in much, much worse condition. So it's very clean, standard Acti. Uh, crack right here on the driver's side vinyl Headliner in good shape dashboards in good shape um, You know you do have a little bit of fade from uh, the age Five digit odometer shows 94 976 There's your shifter Let's see if I can get this Thing to focus on there so there you go so you got your ultra low all the way to the left there ultra reverse and basically you just click this over and get all the way or click this up to get all the way over to those low gears okay there's your light your differential and your fog lights AC works um, I would suggest getting the windows tinted as I do with all of these trucks and even the Activans. Um, these AC systems were not powerful by no means, so uh, window tint goes a very, very long way, especially you know if you do just legal, just do legal all around and do like maybe a 30% windshield, um, it helps out immensely. So you got your driver's side seat here that folds up it's a little pocket let me see if I can get this thing okay passenger seat is in perfect condition okay so yeah I mean there's really not much to show um, really really good shape uh, this thing is definitely a good platform to just take it to the next level um, some of you guys that are watching probably uh, follow our page and everything we do in-house we do lift these things we'll get it painted whatever color you want uh, bed liner we can do the bed liners as well or if you want to spray better liner the whole uh, vehicle um, also, we can color change everything on the interior, so let's just say if you wanted to go to a, uh, 
I don't know, if you want to do uh, a desert tan, just like our demo truck, do desert tan, uh, black out all of the, the door sills, um, and black out the dashboard, and maybe just do like a desert sand uh, seats, uh, we can make that happen for you as well. Uh, the bed liners come in all different colors as well. So you don't have to just get black. Uh, lift kits, two inch lift is usually the recommended uh, lift kits. Uh, once you go past that, then you're kind of um, running into some issues. So two inch is definitely best for maintaining that functionality. And of course, some wheels and tires will go a long way and get this thing looking nice and beefy. Uh, roof rack, light bar. Uh, this could be a nice little rig. Uh, so yeah, my trucks are street legal. They are titled as pickup trucks, not mini trucks. Can you find these trucks a little bit cheaper? Yes, you can. But you're buying pretty much a golf cart. So uh, my trucks are titled as pickup trucks. When you buy these, you're buying a truck, not another toy. So uh, these are really good for hunters, uh, large landowners. You got to run all your errands, do what you got to do, and you can take it down to the store and pick up feed or whatever you need to do, but you're not limited. So three cylinder, uh, this is the 550cc model as well. So uh, uh, the newer ones are 660, um, but this thing still has no problem with getting into traffic in and out, no problems at all. So, all right, so that's pretty much it. There's not much to cover. These are pretty simple trucks. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please email me or call me. My number's on the uh, Facebook page or my website. Send an email, uh, however you need to do it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to hearing from y'all. Thank you.